Here I'm going to demonstrate how to install the OpenVPN server on the CentOS Streaming 9 server. Uh, I am going to demonstrate that in this VMware um, application where I have installed the CentOS Streaming 9 server and opened the terminal window here. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to install this OpenVPN server here. So the first step is to download a script here to uh, do the whole thing and here is the command to download the uh, open VPN script I'm using the WeGet utility to download it if you don't have it you can install it by means of DNF or YUM software but I have already installed it and are able to run this command now so now the script is downloaded here so this is an automatic installation procedure in order to install the OpenVPN server on the CentOS server. It's working very well. So to go further, we have to set the attributes for running this script here. And I do that by means of C mode uh, command with the plus X option here. So now we are able to execute the command. We do that by Running this uh, command here, sudo is well, in fact, not necessary since I have logged on as a root user, but it doesn't harm to apply that as well. So I run the script now by using by enter this command. So now the routine is asking for some parameters here. Well, in fact, it also it is also able to uh, recall the parameters needed for the installation here. The first step is to call recall for the IP address for the server. And the routine has called this IP address here for my server and it's correct so I enter this line here. Since the server is also behind the NIT um, from the router here, uh, a public IP address is also needed. So the routine is able to recall that also and that is correct in my case. So I accept that by enter. So um, there are no IP6 support in my case. Passing here, passing also the default setting here for 11.94 port used for the I open VPN. So I accept that using also UDP, accept that also. So here is your uh, DNS for your choice here. Um, I have a DNS, DNS server in locally, so I use the first option here. But you can use whatever you like here in order to uh, use your own DNS resolvers here. So, and one here, compression, no compression, no encryption in this demonstration here. Um, so now we are ready for running the uh, procedure. So it's running very smoothly and easily. So now we are going to the client setup here. So I have to give the client setup a name here. I using only the word client to make it easy. So this configuration for the client is stored in the root direct in the home directory for my user in my case it's the root directory since i logged on as a root user so here we can choose to have a password on it or not i'm using not to have it in this presentation here so now everything is done open vpn service running here and the configuration file so the client is stored in the home directory here and in my case it's the root directory since I I have logged on as a root user so here you see the client um, OVPN file setup file that has to be copied to the client uh, uh, computer and on this computer you have to install the OpenVPN client software 
and that software has to be run in administrator mode in Windows for example in order to work so uh, when you have started the uh, open uh, VPN client in administrator mode you have to go to the toolbar here down left down right here in the Windows machine to import the client uh, software setup and when that's done you are connected both for file transfer and for URL redirectory rerouting so every traffic is now is going as a uh, by means of a tunnel from your Wi-Fi connection to your computer from your server so uh, it's a safe connection from wherever your client is staying because you have a tunnel connection to your server so no one is going to interrupt you locally in the Wi-Fi network when this is done thank you for watching please like and subscribe thank you